my first gay bar experience. God damn, here we go. All right, you guys, it's your boy Tony Durax, and I've been asked this question a lot. How was my first gay bar experience? I'm not gonna lie, I was low-key terrified. I was nervous. So I had just turned 21, and by the way, I was in the closet when I was 21. I went to this bar in North Hollywood called the Bullet Bar. So I got ready, I put a nice little black t-shirt on, I had my gold chain, I had my jeans on, I had my boots, I had my, my Timberlands, and I went and I was like, all right, cool, like, here we go. As I was walking to the bar, I kid you not, my stomach just decided to turn, like completely flip upside down. I'm not gonna lie. As I was walking to the bar, I was like, God damn, I gotta take a shit. Like, I was so nervous that I had to take a shit. And I was like, I'm not about to go back home drop one and then come back i was like i have to you know i have to go with it so right away i was like all right here we go instantly when i walk in the first thing that i noticed and i kid you not my heart dropped they had porn playing on the tv like they had tvs all wrapped around the bar and i kid you not every single one of them just had nothing but porn playing so i'm just like because i'm just like yo like i'm at a bar everyone's just here sipping drinking and i'm just like like y'all really got, they really had, they really had porn playing in there. I was, tr I was traumatized. So I'm there. There was a lot of older guys at this bar. So I was probably hands down the youngest guy there. I was 21, fresh 21 year old. So I'm there and I'm like, all right. Like, you know, I'm a little nervous and I just, I just feel the eyes beaming on me. Like when I'm, when I tell you, I, I was a f I was fresh meat to them. So I'm like, all right, cool. And I just remember this older guy coming up to me. This guy looked like Robbie Downey, Robbie Down Robbie Downey Jr. He looked like Iron Man. He looked just like the guy from Iron Man. I swear, I was like, I was like, oh, who's this? So he comes up to me and he's like, hey, mind if I get you a, a beer? And I'm like, no, I'm okay. I'm just drinking a Monster. And he's like, you don't want to drink a beer? And I'm like, no, I'm okay. I'm driving. And he's like very responsible he's like how old are you i'm like oh, i'm 21 he's like oh you're you're, you're a baby and i'm like <laughs> just i'm just nervous i'm just so nervous and then i'm like yo like yo I, I gotta tell myself like yo relax like you're here you're a good looking guy so i'm there i'm playing i'm, I'm, I'm mingling around i'm talking to you know some of the dudes just just small talk you know i'm not trying to get at them i'm not trying to i'm not trying to hit on any of them which some of them are very good looking but it was more so a very, it was like a biker bar. Like this wasn't like your ordinary gay bar. It was like a, a biker bar. It was like a, you, you had your bikers, you had your daddies, you had your bears. So there was a, you know, it, it was, it wasn't, it was very rugged. For, for me, I'm not gonna lie, I felt so normal. I felt so okay i felt like i fit in somewhere like these are guys just like me like you are just like me where you're gay like you're gay i'm gay like everyone here is gay and everyone here is just here to have a good time so I, i'm there I'm, I'm i'm saying my goodbyes i'm like all right guys i'm heading out like i feel like i'm like saying goodbye to like a group of friends that i'm gonna be hanging out with like next weekend and uh iron man decides to want to walk me out and uh, <laughs> I was like, yeah, sure. Like, you want to walk me out? Walk me out. Like, cool. Uh, I was very embarrassed of the car that I was driving, so I didn't have them dr walk me to like my car car. I was like, oh, my car is somewhere over there, but you can leave me here. So it's like a really nice neighborhood. And then he's like, you know, it was really nice to meet you. And I'm like, oh, same here. I was like, um, he's like, you know, you should get my number. I'm like, oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, for sure. Like, bro like you know i'll get your number down and um he uh <laughs> uh this this doesn't i i, I don't do this I don't, I don't do this um i usually don't do this but i was so um young let's just say that i was so young that i was like oh, okay he asked if he can kiss me he asked me and i was like oh like what a gent what a gentleman he asked me oh my god and uh, mind you, I had I have only I have, at the time when he had asked me, I had only kissed one guy in my life. You're fucking lying. I've only kissed one guy, and that was when I was 18 years old. So when this man asked me if he can kiss me, I was like, I'm not gonna lie, I was nervous. 
Like, I, I, I was dead ass nervous. Like, I was just like, oh my God, like, I've only kissed one guy. So, I said yes. Um, he was very handsome. I said yes. I was like, yeah, for sure. Mind you, I don't go to bars and I just, I don't kiss random dudes. I just, that's just not me. You, you know, we got to go on a date first and then, you know. Bye. <laughs> Did I meet up with Iron Man another day? Um, God, <laughs> oh, that's a story of its own. Oh my God. An embarrassing one. If y'all want to see a part two of when I went to Iron Man's apartment, let me know in the comments and like this video because, uh, that story is actually really, really embarrassing. <laughs> For those of you who are watching this video and you haven't gone to your first gay bar, I guess you, I guess all I can say is go with an open mind. Go very open to where you know you never know what to expect. Understand that it's different. It is different. It, it was different for me. Like I'm telling you, I wanted to literally crap my pants. But um, thank God that I didn't because that would have been even more embarrassing. So that was my first gay bar experience. I would not trade it for the world. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please be sure to give it a like and also comment. How was your first experience at a gay bar? All right, you guys, much love and thank you all for the support once again. Till next time, yeet. I don't think I crapped my pants. Did I crap my pants?